My name is Yvonne Venegas. I'm a photographer from Tijuana, and now I'm based in Mexico City. I think that the first moment that I discovered that I had a voice was the moment when I started to see, I, I started to do a portrait project, a one-year portrait project in 1994. And I saw this, I started to see images that were quote unquote mistakes. Um, I, I go back a lot to the image of my dad editing the pictures of a wedding album and sort of throwing the pictures on the floor, the ones that didn't work. And that image has sort of become part of what I'm looking for. Like all the stuff that gets thrown out that doesn't sort of belong in that memory that he was constructing. I was curious why or how, what would that memory look like? Now, kind of the long-term project that I'm working on is sort of an investigation of, about portraiture in Mexico City. And it comes obviously from my it, first images of looking at a photographer working. I must have been like four years old, I think, when I saw that. And now what I'm trying to do is bring together this idea of me doing a portrait and then a photographer doing a portrait and then sort of mixing the two things and just coming up with something a bit ambiguous where you don't know who the photographer is. It's part of the culture that a girl turns 15 and has this great party and she dresses like a princess. and. And it's uh, sort of the first time that you get introduced into society as a young woman. What I really like to look for is, no matter how made up they are, looking for those moments where they're not prepared for the camera or the fragile moment. Working with the Leica X Barrio was great because it has two sides. It has the compact and the ease of travel, you could say, and it also has all the manual controls. It's really important for the things that I'm trying to photograph, which are moments that need to kind of happen when I press the button. When Laika asked me what was the perfect mistake, I thought of an image of a little girl in the studio, which obviously was me. I didn't immediately think it was going to be my daughter, but when I did it, it made total sense. It was important to me to see her in that studio and sort of photograph her, kind of being photographed by my father, almost as a self-portrait, because I was her age when I was growing up in that studio. It's a, I think it's, it's my favorite image of the whole series, because it's obviously my self-portrait as a child in my dad's studio, in my dad's hand. I was really happy I managed to get it, <laughs> to get that picture. I was lucky <laughs> and persistent. Yeah.